Hi, it's Anne Hughes here. How are you doing? I hope that you're well. Um, I, I thought I'd share this. I was called out in my shit yesterday, and so I thought maybe I should go and um, share that and, and call some other people out in their shit if they're having the same thing, um, because I find it really, actually, really helpful. Um, on one of the online programs that I'm doing just now with Mike O'Neill, I think I, I've um, chatted about him before. He was posing the question about the stuff that you actually want to do with your life, you know, that you feel you're not you're not getting to do. And he asked the question, how much time of your week do you spend actually moving it forward? You know, so um, not how much time you spend talking about it, not how much time you spend thinking about it, but how much time you actually spend taking actions to move it forward. So if I were to take the example of the book, the book, like I talk about it all the time, you know, I talk about it, I've been talking about it for three years. Um, do I sit down and type away every day? No, I do not. Do I talk about it for probably an hour a week? Yes, I do. And do I think about it for several hours a week? Yes, 100% I do. But do I actually sit down at my keyboard and type away? Because unless I do that, the book is never going to be written, is it? No, Anne, it's really, really no. And I think it's just about having that realisation about whatever your stuff is. Do you know that way? It's like if you, you know, if you want to lose weight, do you spend time exercising and making healthy meals? Or do you just talk about it all the time and sort of a shout at your place for no fitting you? You know, if you want to get a new job, how much time are you actually spending applying for jobs? Do you know? You know, if you, if you want to meet new people and, and do new things and you know, try different stuff. How much time are you spending just talking and thinking about it? And how much time are you spending moving the for moving it forward? Do you know? And it really, really just called me out on my shit. I couldn't believe it actually. Because at first I thought, ah, moving it forward. And I thought, talking about it and thinking about it doesn't count, Annie. Do you know that way? It really doesn't count. And I want to do more broadcasting, obviously. But with that one, I can say, well, I do move it forward because I've got a radio show every single week. I'm working on a new podcast with some friends just now. So that one, I could say I am moving it forward. But I would like to have another column, like I used to have my column before. And I've got a couple of columns, but they're a bit more for, for magazines that only come out once or twice a year. But I have to do something um like regular. So I think about it. I maybe talk about it a wee bit. But I don't actually take any actions to move it forward, you know, same with some of the other work that, that I want to do. And I think it's about probably distinguishing between what are the actions and what is the chatter. Do you know that way? Being chattering here and chatter maybe to your friends or whatever. Um, so it just, it was quite nice. At first I, I grudged it a wee bit. I was a wee bit like offended. How dare you call me it in my shirt? But then I actually thought, well, that's actually really, really helpful because now... If I, and please feel free, if in weeks to come I talk about how the book still isn't written, then feel free to type below, but are you actually sitting down and writing every day, Anne? Because unless I am, it's never going to be written. It's never going to be done unless I actually get my fingers on the keyboard and write it. So, have a wee think about the stuff that you want to achieve in your life and actually write down a couple of actions, probably, about what you could do to move it forward this week instead of just being stuck in the rut of doing the stuff you don't like of talking about it thinking about it i've been miserable cow about it and see how you get on because that's certainly the advice that i'm going to take on board have an excellent day and i'll speak to you soon bye